Hello, this is Reza Rat from Radicat. In this video, I'm going to talk about select columns function, tax function in Power BI. How does that work? How you can use it? What is the difference of that with add columns? Let's check it out. Select column is very similar to add columns. Uh, it is a tabular function. It is a, it is a function that will uh, return a table instead of a value. So if you want to use it inside the measure, you have to use it inside other functions. But if you are creating a table, uh, you can use it directly. For example, here is a simple example of how select columns works. It's a function that the first input is the table then you choose uh, columns you want from that table. It can be, uh, you always need a column name and the expression, which can be just as simple as the column name itself, or it can be an expression that returns something based on a combination of columns, such as first name concatenated with last name or anything like that. Here, for example, customer table has many columns, like 30 columns, but I'm only selecting these two columns from it. Select columns would start with an empty table but still have all the rows of it anyway so this amount of rows of this result set is similar to the amount of rows of customer table but in terms of columns it is different and we can rename columns to whatever we want that is the most basic way of using select columns of course you can use select columns with uh, an expression which is a little bit different here i have another example of select columns which i am uh, again using team customer having a column full name which is the full name directly from the customer but this one is a little bit more expre expression a uh, revenue column which is evaluated based on this expression and it can be like any expression it will go through every row and calculate it and show me the result the result set here has two columns of course because i have full name only and revenue so in a sense, it is kind of similar to add columns because in add columns, you also add a column with the title and the expression of that. The difference, however, is that uh, add columns keep all the existing columns of the table. For example, dim customer is a table with over 30 columns. If I add a column to that, it will keep all the columns and then add a new column to that versus select column will only select those columns that we want. If we want to add a new column, it will add that too. Uh, they can be used very similar to each other. You can use these normally inside a measure when it is used as an input of another uh, function. For example, uh, in the add columns video prior than this, I explained that uh, we can use that to draw a random customer. Same thing can be done using select columns. I can say select columns from the customer, select their full name, considering that the full name is distinct already, let's say, and a random value. And then we just select the top random value, whatever it is, and fetching that customer out. The same thing can be done using add columns as well. There is a performance uh, consideration when you use these inside a measure because it creates like a virtual table and you want to keep the size of that virtual table minimum there's a performance consideration here if i want to show you how it works for example this is that example using using the add column so i'm saying that whatever column i have uh, whatever columns i have in dim customer add a column to that random and then fetch one of those if i clear the cache let me just connect again or I perhaps start with a new one DAX studio is a good tool that you can check uh, how these queries are running so let's say I run this and uh, I get the result oh I wanted to have server timing as well so one more time clear the cache and run it again so when i look at server timing it shows me that it took 22 milliseconds 15 formula engine 7 uh, storage engine and if i look at the size the rows is this but in terms of the size 
and uh, you see what the size is which is convert to this much kilobytes it's not a really big size but if the table is big that can be uh, important then I use the select column approach clearing the cache running it again this time you see it is only 73 kilobytes compared to 2 megabytes before and the total time is much less than that I'm not saying that everywhere you are using add columns you should be using uh, select columns or something like that but uh, always consider if you are using a virtual table in your calculation the size of that virtual table matters and something like select columns can only select the columns that you need so in general as a summary um, select columns is like a add column you can use most of the scenarios that you use add columns for it uh, it might help with the performance as well it is a tabular function if you use it in a measure you have to use it as an input of other functions i hope this video helped you to learn uh, more about tax functions if you have any questions feel free to reach out to me and if i if you like this video go ahead and subscribe into our youtube channel we have weekly videos on Power BI.